D-type flip-flop can be made to store a 1 or a 0. Now there's also another type of flip-flop that can be made to toggle the value that it's currently storing. So if it's storing a 1, we can toggle it so the 1 becomes a 0. And if it's storing a 0, we can toggle it so it becomes a 1. Now this is called a JK flip-flop. So the symbol of a JK flip-flop is shown here. We've got our J and our K inputs. We've also got our clock input. So again, this is a positive edge triggered flip-flop. If it was negative edge triggered, there would be a bubble on the input. We've also got a output Q, and then we have the um, not Q output as well. So the Q output and the not Q output are always a complement of each other. Now, just as we've seen with D-type flip-flops, we can implement a JK flip-flop with NAND gates, so that we won't, but we actually won't worry about the implementation here. We'll just consider it to be a kind of black box, if you will. And the behavior is summarized in this truth table. So again, because this is a positive edge trigger clock cycle, you know we need the clock to be a positive edge for a change to occur. So when both the J and K inputs are both zero, the output Q will just stay the same in the next clock cycle. So it kind of just holds the value that it's currently storing. Now if J is zero and K is one, we reset the flip-flop. So we'll put a zero on the output. So we reset the value to zero. If J is a one and K is a zero, we set the flip-flop. So we set the output to a one. And then now, if J is a one and K is a one, this is in toggle mode, so we call this toggle mode. And then the output becomes the complement of the previous output. So if the flip-flop was currently storing a 1, for example, we have J and K both set to be 1. When the positive edge comes in, the output would toggle to a zero and vice versa. So we can see the situation here. So this is for when both J and K are equal to one. And then every time, so we'll currently, so we'll start off here where the output is a zero. So we can see when the positive edge comes in here on the clock, the value stored in the flip-flop toggles to a one. So this, the, this value zero here goes to a one and again on the next clock cycle the next time we get a positive edge this one then t toggles to become a zero and this pattern is just repeated so every time we get a positive edge on the clock cycle the value stored in the flip-flop just toggles and this just goes on and on for as long as the JK flip-flop is held in toggle mode.